what's your take on the performance? Yeah, I think, yeah, you know, like you say, disappointing to concede within a minute. I mean, that's, that's the last thing you want, obviously. So, uh, as, you, as you know, we can all talk about good starts and good finishes, but uh, achieving them is the how. So, uh, it was an error there at the start, um, you know, and we did respond well. But uh, I think, you know, we were kind of shell-shocked. We were caught in the rabbits uh, in the headlights, like rabbits in headlights, I felt, after about 15 minutes. And um, I was disappointed today more than uh, more than the Wales game. I think the bowling plays a lot less today. But um, the physicality uh, was a big challenge for us, uh, particularly at the set pieces, of course. Um, you know, everyone knows we can't play the game, particularly at this level, without a front five. And then to give penalties away against a team that want them all is the last thing you do. And uh, some of them are under pressure, some of them not. Uh, you know, the first form of defending a mall is, is good discipline. And give penalties away around the halfway line leads to go into the corner and allow them to, to get what they wanted, which was the mall. And uh, they're a good side mall. We have to be a lot better at stopping it as well, though. I felt eerily we didn't get people in the air uh, until the last uh, 20 minutes when they made a few errors then on their throw. Um, that was down to pressure. You have to apply pressure. So... Lots of learnings. Uh, we got better uh, at getting in the air on their line out and stopping the malls and later in the game, but um, it was too little too late then. Uh, and, you know, we didn't want to lose Jake Ilnicki, if I'm honest with you. You know, the situation where Tyler Rowland is injured, Jake Ilnicki um, was, was good, it was, you know, our front line tight dead, and Cole Keith has been playing loose head all season and ended up having to go there. So that didn't help us. But um, certainly, uh, I think the biggest learning from today and last week, really, for the players is our fitness and strength. We can't get into the game if we can't physically compete with people. Um, double tackles from them almost every time we need to be doing that. Um, you know, gain line on both sides of the ball was a challenge for us. And then we just lost our way, lay, uh, way little, you know, restart, not uh, going 10, kick into the corner, from not making touch. Those are the types of errors at this level. You get punished really hard. So I'm just hoping uh, we, we learn from those um, those small errors. It may, may seem in other leagues, but at this level, it's uh, three or, or seven points. Thank you. Safe travels home. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, okay. But a uh, bit raw at the moment, a bit shell shot really. Uh, uh, disappointed uh, with, again, that sort of 20 minute period leading into the half, it, it, you know. So just uh, lick our wounds tonight, but uh, we were going to bounce back, of course. It's one of the biggest positives of this, well, this period, I suppose, of two weeks, as opposed to maybe, you know, the last two games. The, the chance for you and your coaching staff to kind of finally get your hands on the players and properly kind of implement what you're hoping to do in the lead up to World Cup qualifiers in September. Yeah, look, we review things all the time and we spoke last night about, you know, how positive this has been. Um, the staff, uh, I find, uh, you know, the, the camaraderie within the group of staff and players is fantastic, as good as I've been in any environment. And that's often a good sign that you're going to get a good performance. And actually, my meeting before you're on the bus today was based on that. That we all, you know, we've we've had a good two weeks. We've progressed a lot, but it's it's we are measured on how we play out there today. So, unfortunately, we didn't deliver that as well as we would have liked. Obviously, we're always a tough challenge, but certainly we've come a long way in how we work together. Um, a lot, uh, still a lot further to go, but uh, yeah, that that's been a real positive for us. And uh, despite you know the tough games that we've had and score lines, we've uh, it's certainly been a real positive. Uh, and a big learning for us all. So, without this two weeks, we would we would have been, uh, you know, really under the pump to, to perform. Uh, same for USA. It's critical for them as well, of course, to, to play these two games. So, really important. Lots of good. Lots of learning. But uh, just probably just disappointed with the scoreboard in both games. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Kingsley. All the best in your travels. Thank you. Um, you know, what does he have to be disappointed about? 
Well, I think there was a period I, I spoke at half time, and it's not very often I get, have to give the boys a rocket, but I did actually, uh, you know, ask them to look within and dig within. You know, the old line, you get punched on the nose, it's fine, but how do we react to the punch on the nose? That's the measure of people. And, uh, you know, I, I think I think I had a good response to that in the change room. Uh, the eye contact was made with me. Um, you know, they are disappointed with themselves. The players I've spoken to felt that they can do better. It's sometimes you get caught, as I was saying, about the the uh, rabbits in the head, uh, headlight. I think they just sort of froze for a period. And uh, we've been there, but it's how we learn from it and how we respond to it. But they're a really good, honest bunch. A lot of young guys, you know, Don Carson and uh, Michael Smith, some lucky crats. You know, th th there's six guys there that were playing. Uh, the last game that they were playing in, in 2019 was under 20s competitions for Canada. So the pathway is there. And and, and, and I, get, I guess about five of the other guys were 2018s under 20s. So the fact that they haven't played any rugby in 18 months, 20 months is, uh, you know, to jump up to this level is a huge task. But, um, you know, we've thrown them in the deep end a little, I guess, but uh, I think it's the best way to learn. So let's just hope they learn from today um, and those challenges and not be too disappointed. We'll pick them back up now we get back to the hotel and uh, we've got to get back on the horse, of course. Is this a case where you wish you had a game next week? Yeah, well, we would like to have played someone around our, you know, emerging nation like ourselves in the third game. But there was some challenges around that as well. Uh, obviously, COVID. I mean, Romania was one team we were talking to, but it was some, you know, it was very difficult in the circumstances to get these games on. So, what what we'd like to have done is obviously to to play these two top level teams to measure ourselves. But what we got to be careful of, we don't kick the confidence out of us because there's some good players in the room and uh, we can be a good team, but. It would be nice to play against someone around our level now next week to measure exactly how much uh, improvement we've made over the last two weeks against these better teams. Just the last one for me. I mean, this is a problem that goes back to before you've been the coach, but why have defending at line out been such a struggle? Yeah, there's a couple of reasons. I think technically we've got to be better. We need to put pressure in the air. I think we got there in the end. Uh, it's a unit skill, you know, and you need continu continuity and cohesion in your selection because... Um, there are lots of technical parts to that defence. But then, of course, the last part is the physicality and the intensity that they're dealing with, the weight. You know, the scrum, the, the power coming through the England scrum today was uh, particularly strong. I mean, it was split in our second rows out of the scrum. Uh, and it's not too dissimilar at them all. But um, we managed to have a bit of a run through uh, 2018 where we, we had a big focus on it. We managed to find some technical areas we could stop them all, but certainly it's been a big challenge for us today. And, uh, you know, we obviously came into this game expecting that, uh, that mall, but we, we, we didn't de deal with it as we would have liked. Yeah, certainly some of them will be available, um, you know, and of course, Olympic, Olympic players, some of those guys we've been having conversations with. I think it's a case for those guys to see how they return, um, see where they're at. You know, hopefully we'll, we'll be uh, on the podium uh, and uh, maybe those guys will need a break. We'll see how much rugby they get. Um, but there's certainly two or three of those guys in that squad that want to take part in, uh, in uh, the September and October fixtures. And then, of course, a couple of the guys that are overseas um, that have had a break, uh, difficult challenges, COVID, isolation in Canada. This was what probably a, a too or too much for them, but they come back into contention. Thank you. Thank you. Kingsley, it's, it's Neil again. Uh, is there any update on Jake Kilnicki condition? Yeah, I've I, I just spoken to him. He seems okay, but, um, you know, it's a difficult one with a bloke to the head. Uh, I, I'm not sure if he was quite, um, you know, himself when he went on. I was disappointed with that, I must say. I, I, you know, in my book, it's contact with the head and uh, it's a red card. But um, there we go. It, we've lost our, our frontline prop. But uh, hopefully he's OK. Uh, he's up and I was talking to him in the change room five minutes ago, Neil. So I'll tell him you were asking. Thank you. Uh, hand up from Fred Dillon, Charles Oh, hey, uh, uh, Kingsley. Uh, you mentioned you, um, the young guys. Um, are you 
took 11, uh, you know, IBCAP players on this uh, tour. Uh, very ambitious uh, for these young guys. And, and a lot of, you know, like seven, six or seven got into play. And you mentioned the three guys. Uh, was anyone else from that, that younger group that really checked out, uh, stuck out for you? Yeah, you, I, I think all of them. I thought last week against Wales in a big occasion like that, I thought the new caps really, really, you know, Quinn Nawat, you, you know, did more than enough last week. Uh, you know, uh, Siaki, Vakalani, I mean, the amount of rugby these lads have played is is minimal and it is unavoidable. I think in normal circumstances, you wouldn't be picking them, but uh, that's where we're at. There's very few people, uh, you know, very few of our players have played a lot of rugby, so... We would have uh, put these guys in earlier, of course, so we were hoping to pick them last year and blood them in in some uh, in some level closer to our own, you know, of emerging nation test matches. But um, it's where we find ourselves. But I think they fronted up well. Um, it's just that uh, strength, conditioning, power that we really is a big focus for us. All emerging nations are a real challenge for us and. Uh, that's where we have to be. Unfortunately, uh, well, for, rugby is a contact sport, and like, unlike any other, you, if you're not physically and uh, you know if you're not as fit as the opposition, you're always going to struggle.